All right, hey guys, this is Equal Square here with uh, Lua Beginner Tutorials Lesson Number Seven, and today I'm going to be teaching you some basic table manipulation. So if I edit the script, as you can see right here, I've got some commands down here. After all this, this is from Lesson Four, I believe. Yes, this is from Lesson Four when I introduced tables, and um, I took the code. And what happens is um. So after we set all of these variables, these first eight variable things, to um, one to eight, uh, and it prints them all out. What I do here is it says print to string r table number six. All right, so we sh so then we get six, and then we got table dot remove, and then r table six. If we look at this, the argument is table and then position. And um, so yeah, that's how that works. We're removing the sixth element from our table, and then if we print the sixth element, what it does is it shifts all of the elements above it down. So what what our element used to be seven now became element six. So then we get seven right here, and then we use table dot insert on. Here's the parameters for it. Um, that's not the right thing. Okay, table, position, and value. So we use our table, and then we use the sixth position, and then put six as the value. We print element six again, and we get six again. So if I look at this, and we scroll past the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you see we get six, seven, six because of what we do here. So that's how you can remove elements from a table and insert elements into a table. And also, if you just do table dot remove and then our table and that's all you put then um, it the it defaults to the highest element in the array right, so um, what we do what this will do is this will remove the eighth element if you just call remove our table without giving it an element so that's how you um do stuff also, some more things you can do with tables is um, you can see how many elements are in a table. So let's say I do print to string. You can do um, hash tag, hashtag. That's what I'm going to call it. I think it's technically a pound sign. And then you put that and then the name of the array, our table. And this will tell you how many elements there are. So after removing this, it should say seven. Scroll down and we get seven. You can use this for detecting how many, um, like, what went, like, how many things you have or something. Um, let's see what else there is here in table manipulation. There's a table.concat for concatenating things. I'm not sure how to use it, I'm not gonna go over it. It seems a little weird. Um, Table.maxn returns the largest positive numerical index of the given table, or zero if the table has no positive numerical indices. To its job, this function as a linear transversal of the whole table. Okay, uh, from what I gather, if I am to, whenever I do print to string table.maxn our table. I'm guessing this will give me seven. Let me see here. Yeah, it gives me seven because I removed eight, leaving seven. Alrighty, that would make sense. That's cool. So you can find out what the um, largest element in your array is by numerical value. Um, sort. Sorting, it's a little unstable, sometimes it doesn't work right, I'm not going to be going over it. Um, that's pretty much it for table manipulation. Um, very short but sweet lesson. Um, in the next lesson, I'm going to be teaching um, some advanced math. Um, and then, after that, I believe we'll be just about done, if not done. And after we're done, I can go on to teaching, uh, teaching more, like, how to use Lua in other usages, like different programs and things. So, be sure to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!